Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial here in Minecraft Pocket Edition. You guys have been requesting I do a redstone tutorial for MCP for quite some time. So I decided to make this lovely lava door. It is super simple to build. It does not require anything besides redstone and dispensers. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it actually is. So here we have a lovely lava door. Of course, you can make this out of water as well but basically that's what it is we could then hit this button over here and then the lava goes away and then it basically opens up our door it does take quite a while to go away because lava is pretty slow but once it does like I mentioned, the door opens, then you can walk on over to the other side, come around here and click on this button, and then you can reactivate it and close the door behind you. Now if you guys implement, say, a T flip-flop or a passcode locked door into this, you can definitely make this a bit more advanced and cool, but that is the whole idea. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how to build this. Now it's really simple, as you guys can see, there's barely any redstone involved in the system, so now I'm going to lay out the area and then we can get straight to it. So I set up my area right over here and one thing I do want to mention is that you can make this as tall and as wide as you guys like. It is not limited to my dimensions but if you guys do want to know I basically added in a four block radius on the inside or space if you guys want to call it that as well as it's four blocks tall and nine blocks in length. All right, so now let's go ahead and start building this. The first thing you want to do is come over here and find the center block. Once you have that, you want to go ahead and build two blocks up like this, place down a row of blocks just like that, and then place down a block over there. Then you want to go ahead and destroy these blocks, and that's where our dispensers are basically going to be placed. All right, so once you guys have that, you want to go ahead and now place down a block right over here and staircase it down on either end. So let's just go ahead and staircase this down. And if you build it nine blocks in length, it should line up just perfectly. So there we go, we have two of our staircases that's going to contain our redstone. Now let's go back into the middle where we dug out the blocks in the direct center. We need to grab ourselves some dispensers and look up and place it facing down right over here. And as you guys noticed, our dispensers are actually one block inside the ceiling. And the reason you want that is because lava and any type of liquid in Minecraft does have an overflow. So you want to make sure it is one block inside of the ceiling that way it just falls straight down and doesn't spill onto any areas of the map. Now once you have that, you want to go ahead and just destroy these blocks that are covering up our dispensers as well as these blocks on the side. There we go. Grab ourselves a bit of redstone dust, place it on the staircase on the left, on the staircase on the right. Place on a bit of redstone dust there. Then you want to go ahead and crouch and then place down some redstone dust on top of our dispensers. And this will be activated using our buttons that we will be placing later on. All right, so now what we need to do is basically grab ourselves some more blocks, place down a tall pillar of blocks over here, place down a redstone repeater right over there, going into the block with the redstone on top, grab ourselves a button, place on a button over here. As you guys can see, when we hit that button, our redstone is activated, and then our dispensers are also activated at the very same time. All right, so now I'm go going to basically be doing this on this side as well. So let's just go ahead and, you know, do that, and then build up a pillar of blocks here. Extended one up, basically to five blocks, and then I'm going to just bring it all the way across. And then I'm going to build up a pillar over here as well to make it look a bit better. So this is basically what you guys will be seeing. You come over here, hit this button, and then our dispensers will now be activated. So we are almost done. The last things we need to do is grab ourselves some pressure plates, come to the middle, place down a row of pressure plates on the right and left hand side of these blocks. It's going to blend in with our stone. And what this is going to do is contain the lava when it eventually falls down and hits the ground. Now the last thing is to load up our dispensers using our lava, so let's just go ahead and do that. Yet again, it is four dispensers, so we need four buckets of lava. Remember to only place down one bucket of lava inside each dispenser, otherwise it's not going to work. All right, so that is pretty much our system. Now we can go ahead and click on this button. As you guys can see, our lava dispensers will be activated. The lava falls down in a straight line, and that is pretty much it. As you guys can see, it is now a really lovely lava door, and 
anyone who tries to walk through it is going to get burned unless they're on creative mode of course then you could simply turn it off by hitting that button yet again on either ends of our entrance anyways guys that is basically going to wrap up today's redstone tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please take one second to smack the like button you can leave a comment down below and suggest another redstone tutorial that you would like to see as well as don't forget to subscribe to see more awesome redstone tutorials redstone maps and other redstone related stuff on my channel anyways guys this was twist and i'll see you all next time